Hi, this is Amy from the Alti Store. I'm back with Mike from Iron Ridge, and we are going to go over some of the roof mounting options that we've got here. Absolutely. So give, give me a rundown of, of all these fabulous rails. Yes, thank you. Um, well, we do supply rail throughout the U.S. Uh, for residential rooftops, and obviously the roofs are going to be different in Arizona than they are in Maine or Salt Lake City. Um, so we do have uh, one roof but shape, one roof pro top, uh, profile for our rail. Um, see if you can get that there. Nice. Um, the difference is gonna be though on the size of that profile. So I'll just hold two of them up. You can see one is a little smaller than the other one. Um, and what I can do is tell you about why that is. When you're putting rail on a roof, you need it to span a certain uh, dimension between your rafters. You don't wanna just land it on the shingles uh, all nimbly bimbly. Um, you want to be able to span rafter to rafter and sometimes that's two feet uh, if you have a, a ton of snow or four feet, maybe six feet if there's no snow and uh, very low wind. Um, so basically the different size extrusion is going to suit a different type of environment on the roof. Mm -hmm. um, so this is our XR10 rail. It's the slimmest one. It's the most lightweight, uh, most cost effective. The, the way that it's going to mount is going to, again, be based on environmental factors. So if it's a, a low wind, low snow area, you can probably span four to six feet with this. Um, you know, Arizona, Southern California, um, a lot of places can use that. Uh, going up on the snow and wind scale, this is the XR100. Uh, this is, you know, a little bit beefier. Uh, it's, it's still fairly lightweight. It's, it's aluminum, so it's going to be easy to pass up to the roof. Um, with this product, you're going to probably be able to span six feet, eight feet, uh, pretty routinely. Um, of course, every jurisdiction is going to have a different number, yes. right? So sometimes they have a magic number that they want you to hit every four feet. Um, and if that's the case, you know, you can use this or the XR10. Um, we should point out that there's an excellent tool online. Yes. I know you guys use it. Uh, all the time. And so we've got a link right here so that you can check it out. That's our Iron Rich Design Assistant. So you can plug in the parameters for your particular home. Uh, if, you're, if you're out uh, installing on, you can say the snow load is this much, the wind load is this much, and my slope is, is here. Um, that will let you decide whether you want to use an XR10, an XR100, or the next one up would be XR1000. Um, and for an XR1000, you know, we're normally using this on a ground mount where you're spanning a, a long distance and there's wind that could come up from behind it too. But you can put this on top of a house if you're in like maybe Park City, Utah, where you're getting feet and feet and feet of snow all winter long and a ton of, ton of wind. You don't want to have to attach every two feet. You can span, you know, four or six feet in heavy snow with this one. So it's, it's a little bit of a mama bear, papa bear, baby bear situation that you can uh, look at our rails as, but... We sell a lot of those in Maine. There you go. <laughs> um, so that's our three different rails, and I hope that makes sense. You can go to the design assistant yep. to uh, get a feel of which one's gonna be best for your site. Wonderful, well thank you very much. Thank you, Amy. I'm Amy from the Alti Store, and I'm here with Mike from Iron Ridge, and check out more of our videos, and our website where we're making renewable doable.